Hey guys, I'm walking around uh, downtown Chandler, getting ready for my first uh, little breakfast meeting here in a minute. Wanted to make a quick piece of content that I think might be valuable for you. Uh, 2017 was the first year I made real money and I kind of went crazy. I was like 26 or 27, maybe it's 28. I don't, I don't know. I was mid to late twenties and, uh, and I bought like a BMW Mercedes the same day, bought a big house. I was just like doing all the things you're supposed to do when you're making good money. And I quickly found out it didn't make me any happier. And I was, <clears throat> felt heavy. Looking back on it, I don't think I was financially sound enough to really have all that. So that's probably why it felt stressful. Um, I hadn't laid the, the foundation financially to really be comfortable. I was kind of doing what most people do is I was looking rich, but I wasn't actually creating wealth. Um, I was kind of on a, a good looking hamster wheel. So anyway, 2017, downsized, read a book called Goodbye Things that changed my life. Got into minimalism, uh, didn't buy anything for a whole year, got rid of most of everything. And uh, since then I've found some really good counterbalance. I'd say I'm pretty balanced when it comes to um, the way I consume, uh, making sure I find extreme joy in the things that I do have, making sure that I have utility in the things that I have. So I've done a pretty good job at that. But um, I even feel some baggage on me now. And so for Lent, what I gave up was uh, all of my Jordans and Nikes and really nice clothing that I have. Um, and I parsed it down to 29 items. So 29 items over the next, uh, whatever it was, it's 40 days. I don't know where we're at. It's probably a couple weeks left. And I found that I don't miss any of it. I don't not finding myself longing for, you know, whatever my Lulu this or my Lulu that like, or my Nikes this or my Nike that I have one pair of New Balance. I got some, some Jesus chanclas there that people have been clowning me for five shirts, five shorts, five, five pants. Like I trimmed it down to what I thought I really needed. And it turns out I have everything I need. And it's been pretty cool. Like my closet is blank. I open my drawer, there's five socks and there's five undies. Like it's just, it's simplified things that has allowed me to have clarity and perspective and time and energy on other stuff that I'm super focused on right now. So I'm not saying that um, this is something you should do, but what I am saying is that I have, uh, I've gone all the way to the dark side on minimalism and didn't buy a single thing. That didn't really make me happy. And I've been like a super consumer and I've had all the things and that didn't really make me happy. I think there's a fine balance when you can find utility and joy in the things you have and do a self-assessment or an assessment on all the things that you uh, engage with in your life from your clothing to your vehicle to your house to your friends to your family to your businesses to your money. How does it fit? How do you like it? Does it feel heavy? Does it feel light? What does that feel like for you? And then then make decisions accordingly. You don't have to have anything in this life. You are not required to have a closet full of expensive designer clothes. You are not required to drive a certain car. You are not re required to live in a certain neighborhood. And you're damn sure not required to hang out with or spend time with people that you don't feel like they're like filling your cup and giving you joy. So um, remember that we get one chance at this thing called life. And our time is slipping away every minute and to spend it on anything that doesn't give you fulfillment, satisfaction, joy, peace, um, strength. You know, I'm not saying don't do hard things. You should absolutely do hard things, but you should go, you should do, those should be self-imposed. You should go figure out how to run a marathon or get fit or uh, diet or live on 29 things. Like those should be self-inflicted because you want to get better, but not because life is being hard because you're choosing the easy route day in and day out. So as always, I think less is more. Hope this message resonates. Um, I put all those really nice things on timeout They're in like 12 garbage bags in my garage. There's definitely a couple things I'll, I'll welcome back. Some good running shoes for sure. Um, maybe a couple pair of kicks, but I don't know. Honestly, I think I'm a, a one bag guy from here on out. Anyway, love y'all.